Hello, I'm Marlene and this is Einstein with Mom's Kids Plus Puppets and today we're going to be talking to Danny Hashimoto and we're in beautiful Kauai, Hawaii. Oh, here comes Danny now. Hello, mm -hmm. Danny. Aloha. Aloha. Me, it's a pleasure. And Einstein, how are you, brother? Oh, he's good. He's looking forward to this uh, mm. nice chocolate here. I made that specially for you. Mm, yum. <laughs> Cacao is happening. So, Danny. Who are you? I mean, I know you're Danny Aoshimoto, but tell me who you are. I am a native Hawaiian. I live here on the beautiful island of Kauai, and it's just been a pleasure and a privilege to grow up here. Gosh, it's going on uh, many decades now, <laughs> but life is good. And as a native Hawaiian, I am just happy to learn about my own culture and my roots and share it with people and um, I just love life. Oh, that's great. I understand you're a really good hiker and uh, in fact I've done some hiking with you since I've been here, haven't yeah, we yeah. Einstein? We have. We've enjoyed very much doing it. So how did you become a hiker? Well, I've always liked nature. I've always liked being outdoors whether it's going to the beach or climbing up mountains here as a kid. I climb up the, the Sleeping Giant. It's not a real big mountain, but it's still called uh, the Sleeping Giant. But uh, the trail is easy enough to climb and it's delightful. And from there I started uh, going to other out-of-the-way places, special places, like up into Wai Ali Ali Crater. Mm -hmm. That's the heart center of our island, where it all began 5.2 million years ago when the volcano erupted. I went over that with a helicopter. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was fabulous. Yeah. So I understand that you have a, a business here and that you're even branded. So uh, it's the Kauai Best Adventures? You're an adventurer? Well, it's definitely um, an adventure. Life is an adventure here. So I decided instead of just um, sharing it with a few friends, why not share it with the whole world? And my partner and I, Jim, formed a company called Kauai Quest and it's Kauai Quest Adventures and so our quest is to have fun and adventure and take people hiking, kayaking, snorkeling, visiting some of our cultural centers like our Hawaiian heiaus and the heiau is an ancient Hawaiian temple and we learn so much about the island when you can find out about its roots and its spiritual roots and how the culture came to grow how our lifestyle was a sustainable lifestyle over the years with growing taro and bananas and all of that and learning to fish and building canoes and so I'm grateful that we still do a lot of those things today. Yes, so that's why I thought you're the best quest. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's true. And I know we've had some really favorite adventures that we've had while we've been with you, but what is your favorite adventure that you've ever done? My favorite adventure is taking people up to the top of our island. Because I've wow. always liked a panoramic view and when you're on top of something, besides that feeling of exhilaration, you have this amazing view and it's just so inspiring and it's a place where you can just sit and relax and just meditate over the quiet of our island. You might hear the distant roar of the ocean waves or you know the birds chirping up in the forest mm -hmm. but I love the peace of the high mountains and we have uh, some beautiful mountains here. We have the Waimea Canyon and oh and here's a photo of one of my rainbow pictures and that's up in Waimea Canyon. Beautiful. So besides the color of the rainbow, you have the color of the earth. You can see the red earth here. Uh, that's from the iron oxide that's um, very common here on the island. And so we have the reds and the greens and that's what's awaiting you up in the Waimea Canyon and Kalalau Valley area. I liked seeing the colorful eucalyptus trees. That was oh, really wonderful. Yes. Yes. That was lovely. So what makes your quest adventures different from other guide companies? Well, aside from the beautiful off-the-beaten-track 
places that I like to take people, and so does Jim. Uh, we're just able to help you connect with nature. You know, I mean, having the knowledge is something, but just being in the flow on a quiet mountain trail or a peaceful stream in the middle of a volcanic crater um, and pointing out the flora and the fauna, but we create situations where you can just connect. For example, there are places in the stream where if you took the time to just sit in the middle of a, of a rushing stream, you find a place where the water just drops down and you lean back into it. So it becomes a natural, cool, rushing jacuzzi. And it's very invigorating. So these are the kinds of things that I like to do. And then of course, if you're a little bit more adventurous, or shall we say very physical, then we'll find a place where you can climb a lava rock wall um, right next to a waterfall. And then when you get up to the top, if you even make it that high, then you just <laughs> jump into the pool. So it's just non-stop adventures and fun and just being creative. Of course, the other thing is that halfway through the adventure, in the middle of a hike, for example, um, a good thing to do is to have a snack break. And while, you know, we'll all bring our little snacks, I bring a little cooler and I unveil some chocolate. Hey, Einstein, do you like chocolate? Yes. And so I enjoy making this beautiful oh. chocolate cups. It could be in a champagne glass or it could be in a, a small little cup. And I unveil it in the middle of the hike so that everybody can have a chance to have some delicious raw cacao. And cacao, of course, is the word for chocolate. It means food of the gods. So not only does mm. it taste good, right, Einstein? Chocolate mm. is the best. But it also gives you that energy, and it's a healthy energy treat because I do not put any sugar in here. It's just made with the purest and healthiest ingredients. What do you think? Love is that it. a thumbs up? Thumbs up. <laughs> Well, you can tell me after you've had a chance to eat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. So, uh, do you take children hiking too? You take the kids? I love taking children hiking. Because we're mom's kids plus puppets, you know, so we like the kids. Absolutely. <laughs> and so I'm always thinking of new things to do with, with the kids, whether it's um, building little rock totems. You know, we find stones and I have the kids gather the stones and we balance them. Um, or I'll show them how to make um, little bamboo teepees, you know. Um, and in, in some places, um, I'll do some, some carving and then I'll just, you know, connect like, I guess you could say, uh, what do they call those um, contraptions where you just connect, like tinker toys, you know. Or Legos. And Legos, those types of yeah. games. So I try to keep the, the kids occupied, but everyone likes chocolate. So That's right. Cacao is good for kids, it's good for adults, and the other thing that I like to do is take photos. So I'm constantly taking photos of people, of the places that we go to, and the other thing that's fun, especially for kids, is jumping for joy. So here's two big kids, myself here and my friend visiting from uh, Switzerland, and um, she likes hiking up in the mountains, so I said, well, let's jump for joy. So that's a jump for joy photo right there. What do you think, Whoa, Einstein? Rich. Can you jump high? Mm -hmm. And that's part of the fun. So we're all kids at heart. Big kids, little ones. The little ones, I, you know, we can take children probably five, six years old because they can hike, they can walk. But I make sure that we take them on a very easy trail. Very good. Because then it's helpful for mom and dad as well. So have you got a personal story you'd like to share with us today? Well, the, the best story is just being able to go into a secluded, quiet area and, and just sit and be quiet and meditate. And that's one of the things that I like to share with people. So it's not so much of a story. I mean, I have adventure stories left and right. And, you know, everybody has an adventure. But I think what I'm, you know, trying to convey here is, is that we live very busy lives. And for me to be out in nature is just the ultimate. And to be able to sit and be quiet in nature, that's another experience that's altogether nice. because we can be hiking and talking and eating chocolate and so on and that's all fun. But there's nothing like just being quiet and listening to the birds and just being next to a waterfall or a rushing stream and um, 
being quiet and just going deep inside and, and really totally relaxing. Well, I know we really enjoyed having lunch with our feet in the stream the other day. That was really, yes. that was really fun. How many people have a chance to do that? No, I, don't, to... I haven't had lunch in the stream very often. <laughs> <laughs> and sitting on a rock, that was really fun. That's um, right. If you had a magic wand, because we've got Puff the Magic Dragon That's right That's right. I love Puff. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about uh, how Puff relates to the island here? Well, you know, it's a, just a cute song, you know, by Peter, Paul and Mary many years ago. 1963, I think it was. And, you know, Puff the Magic Dragon lives by the sea in a land called Hanalei. Hanalei is one of our beautiful places on the island. But, uh, and I know you claim Puff here, <laughs> at least the Northerners well, we do. <laughs> we like to, but the whole idea of dragons and magic, you know, in Hawaiian, Hawaiian the dragon is called Mo'o, okay, uh -oh. like a lizard or, or a dragon. And the magic really refers to the magic of Kauai, the magic of being in paradise. Being, this definitely is paradise. <laughs> being in nature and, and Einstein, this is your first trip here, isn't it? <laughs> And so there's a lot of magic to discover. So everything is, is magic when you're here for the first time. And so it's my job to help share the magic. And occasionally, guys like Puff, dragons like Puff will help me out. <laughs> well, speaking of magic, the Hawaiian language is so magical. Can you say a couple of phrases for us in Hawaiian? Ah, well, one of my favorite phrases is ua mau ke'ea o ka'aina ikapono, which means the life of our land is perpetuated in righteousness. And that's a beautiful saying because it goes deep into our history. It talks about how many years ago uh, Hawaii was actually overthrown. You know, there was a coup. And then now, over the years, we are slowly working to restore our sovereignty as Hawaiians, because I am Native Hawaiian. You know, I have Hawaiian blood, I'm a mixed, you know, most, person, most as most are. of us are. <laughs> yes. But at the same time, it's deep-rooted inside of me. And so we'd like to, to achieve that goal and become independent again and sovereign. And with that, we feel that we can really share the aloha spirit with the whole world and, and enhance our community of aloha here throughout the state. So it's a very inclusive type of um, goal or paradigm that we're creating here on Kauai and throughout the Hawaiian Islands. So if I could give you or Einstein a magic wand and you could wave it over the world, what would you wish for? Well, I would wish for sovereignty for all because Truly, the, the sovereignty, the, the peace, and, and the feeling that you have control over your life, that's important for everyone, even for children. So even as adults, you know, we, we teach people, and we're, we're their guiding mentors, but we're also teaching them to be independent, to think for themselves, right? You're a thinker, I know that, Einstein. <laughs> and that's, that's very key. And of course, you're the fellow that said, imagination is more important than knowledge. True. You know, I mean, yes, you have a high IQ, but without that imagination and without the magic, you know, we're not going to grow in, in the way that our world community should grow. That's right. So that's my wish. I would like to see sovereignty, sustainability, and lots of magic. That's wonderful. So it's been so exciting talking to you today, Danny. And, you know, I really would like to give you the last word to share with those that have listened with us today. And we wish you aloha from Mums Kids Plus Puppets. So, at this point, Einstein and I are going to give Danny the camera and ah. the final word. See you later, brother. Aloha. And basically, that's a very important word. We're saying goodbye. And in fact, aloha means hello. And I would close with simply saying aloha nui loa. And that's another way of saying I love you. Thank you. Bye.